Hey, boys and boys, new little video. And so I've been um, doing a little online course on um, anatomy, uh, on physiology, actually more. And we were doing the endocrine um, system, and then kind of uh, forgot that never did a, a one on diabetes, and it's big on forms. And also, I find that a lot of kind of miss information is sent on YouTubes and even in the uh, main media uh, based on and we'll talk a little bit more about it and actually in this uh, so this will be a two-part video uh, the reason I'm doing it two parts is that the first part I really want to explain the physiology of it I don't want to go too much in detail because uh, it can be, be very uh, like there's a lot of molecules and stuff and I don't want to get into that I don't think we need to either but actually to have a big grasp on how our system works to understand that uh, some of the treatments and stuff that we were going to be talking about, about why do they work and some don't work and some of the controversies that are out there and uh, I'll make an argument on um, the reason that I don't I think that they're kind of um, misleading as well um, so we'll, we'll get on that and we'll do the physiology. So, um, to that we'll do like a, an explanation of first how normal body works and then after that we'll kind of uh, go in details of what kind of, uh, of, uh, of diabetes there is out there and then on the second part we'll go more on the treatment and some of my opinions of the things that I hear on on on, uh, on the YouTube with the medias and everything. So first, let's go through how it works. And for this, we're going to explain a little bit, uh, kind of do an analogy. So imagine that you live on in a compound, and like a city or something, and you have a store over here. Uh, one over there, and there's someone, and there's a kind of it's kind of lock, and you got a security guard that has all the keys for everything. Well, actually, mostly um, to to this door over here is going to be your cells, which is your home as well. That's where you live, and inside here. There's, uh, this will be your liver, and, but as um, in our example over here, what we'll do is we'll see it as a, um, a restaurant, but not any special restaurant, a, a restaurant with delivery, and this is the only way actually you can get your food, so uh, it has to come over here. So why are we going that way? So we have a pancreas, our cells, and our liver. And this is a little bit simplified, obviously, because if you get into, and I'll put some videos that are a little bit more um, um, links down to explain a little bit more, or if you want to search, there's tons of stuff on YouTube and very, uh, very details and stuff. But I'm trying to make a point and more like make it sense and make sense in people that are not always uh, medical trained or don't have like a, a lot of biology behind it. So, all our cells works on something called ATP. And ATP is literally a fuel that works on, our, on all our cells of our body. We need ATP to function properly. Because uh, they, they, they create this machine, so each of our uh, cell or many manufacturers and many ecosystems on their own and, they're cr and they need to create their own uh, electricity and everything so ATP is pretty much the electricity of the cells and if you don't have ATP it doesn't pro uh, work properly and just like fire it works with three things uh, heat well kind of <laughs> a little bit but it works on oxygen uh, glucose and well, uh, some sort of energy. We'll we'll talk a little bit, but mostly glucose. So oxygen, glucose, and uh, that ATP stuff, and will create um, enough fire and energy for our cell to function. So all our cell of our body will need that to function. 
mostly are sugars because anything that you take will be transfer in, in little uh, molecules. And so anything that you get to, so if I eat an apple or you eat a candy bar or something, they'll change sometimes the, the names, sometimes will be fructose, sometimes will be glucose, but most of the time we'll call them glucose to kind of generalize. So you got some glucose kind of going through your body. So if I heat properly, so if I, you know, I'm not starving or anything like this, uh, the production of my sugar will come straight to my home delivery. I don't even need to order it from a restaurant. There's a daily, uh, daily delivery or constant delivery, not just daily, but constant delivery to my home, and it comes in. But here's the catch. For this glucose, so over here we'll call that the glucose, to come to my home, security guard has to come in to open the door. And the keys that he used to open the door for me to get my stuff, so I cannot open my door myself, it's a locked door. And the key to open this is called insulin. So through our day, our pancreas produce insulin according to the number of sugars. So every time that I have, so uh, every time the glucose comes, it's like, hey, uh, I need to go into the cell. They call security, security comes, they put an insulin, boom, I get my, uh, they open the door, I get the glucose in. If for whatever reason, um, I'm doing exercise, uh, I'm sick, um, anything increased my demand, so that means that my cells need to, to do more production, more electricity. So more energy, they need more glucose. Again, just like we need a fire, you need a bigger fire. So to have a bigger fire, you need more fuel, which is your glucose, just like uh, the woods that you would have. Well then, one of our big uh, store will be a liver. And that's where I'm gonna take the phone and place an order for the liver to bring me um, my sugar and so when we have uh, a supply so when glucose brings some to my cells what it does as well is it brings some good food to the restaurant before so before it comes to home goes to the liver and leave some 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 of the glucose over there so they can store it so then when I order it they bring me the good stuff and then uh, over here, now I call them, they bring me some of the stuff that they put over there. And again, it comes over here, security guard is called, and then the insulin kind of create my production. And actually the security guard works also on the restaurant as that it needs that over here to kind of uh, help the process. So what does happen in diabetes. It's a problem with the security guard. So it's not so much a problem of production of glucose, but it's a problem of, of the security guard not opening the door to me. And here what happens, so we'll push that away, we'll redo another one here. I got my restaurant, got my delivery, got my cell. I got my security guard. So, in diabetes, there's different type, and uh, in the um, in the past they've been going to. Uh, so we used to call them insulin dependent, non-insulin dependent, and then now they uh, they went through like type one, type two, just general diabetes. But I, I would like to go back to the old ways of saying so that it makes a little bit more sense of what I'm going to talk about because it's going to be two different diseases and two big categories and they did, that's why they did the sub subcategories of type 1, type 2, gestionals and everything because there's different causes of them. But I want to take a broader case so please stick with me and we'll go with the old ways of mentioning diabetes. So. You can have a, let's say, a security office on strike, and that will be called 
the IDDM, and you can have lazy security guard, which will be an IDDM. So IDDM stands for insulin uh, dependent diabetes mellitus. And NIDM depends on non-insulin diabetic, um, uh, non-dependent diabetes mellitus. What's that mellitus thing? So it's again, uh, most of the me medicine is uh, Latin, and the mellitus actually is quite an interesting thing. In the in the old days, if they, knew, they didn't know that you know they couldn't do blood tests and lots of that, that was not discussed. So the mellitus means sh uh, tasty honey taste. And this is how they used to diagnose diabetes. They would put their finger on the urine, taste it, and if it tasted sweet because you were peeing a lot, and if it tasted sweet, that was mellitus, so you had diabetes, because there's another one called insipidus, which is diabetes insipidus, but it's another disease and we're all gonna, insipidus mean no taste. So basically, if you taste it and didn't have, then you have diabetes insipidus, not diabetes mellitus. Mellitus means, um, uh, sugar. So this is what uh, IDDM. So you have insulin de de dependent, and this will be very important. That's why I want to talk about that. And the non-insulin de uh, dependent. Uh, so what mostly people call type one, and the type two. So here's what happened now in diabetes. So the distributor brings the glucose and call the office. And the office either send a lazy security guard, so he comes once in a while or he doesn't come or, or whatever, uh, or they're on strike, so there's no one to come and open the doors. Well, second delivery comes, again, bring the glucose. Third degree brings, again, nothing. Well, I'm getting hungry here and I need my energy to function. So what I do is I call, because I'm thinking that, you know, the delivery guy is not here. So I'm like, hey, uh, restaurant, can you uh, bring me some, some glucose? So now this one too brings some delivery. But again, he calls the security guard and either because they're lazy or they won't strike, they don't come and open the door. Again, I call back, say, hey, you did, your, your delivery guy didn't bring me glucose. And then third one, you start seeing. So you start seeing that basically now, no matter what I call and everything, because I don't have that door opening, this stuff cannot get to me. But the human, human body is an intelligent, stupid machine at the same time. It creates its own issue. And is that... It doesn't recognize that, hey, I'm not getting the glucose because I don't have enough insulin, so I'm going to create another system. So it keeps calling for that stuff. Well, there's a, uh, another uh, black market in a certain way that because the good stuff cannot get to me, I'm going to get the bad stuff. And the bad stuff is uh, creates what we call ketones. And this is a little bit, uh, there's like three different types that you can get. But mostly what it's going to create is create some ketones in our body. And that's why we call it DKA. And we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about the, the disease, about the DKA. And the ketone is that it's a... A natural thing, way that the, the cells has so our body to defend so that in case that this would happen that I don't have my supplies of so glucose then I could produce still some electricity not as efficient as when I do it the proper way but I can produce another way and that system will kick in and then I will start producing still electricity but instead of producing a lot of electricity I'll produce bad electricity or bad oil or bad gas or bad um, bad energy but still enough energy to kind of sustain life but as well I'm gonna it's gonna be very pollute and it's gonna pollute my blood work and so in the next video we'll see what that produce and why the treatment of what we're talking about kind of is uh, effective